that I have in mind. Yeah. Headphones. Have everybody used headphones? Each of you use headphones sometime or another? You have some headphones there? You have some, Marley? Where do you use headphones, Marley? I use them. You did really good. You are just like, yeah, yeah, you did really good. Remember that. When you come into God's presence, find a quiet place to go to prayer. And remember that prayer is every bit as much as important that we listen to God. Because He'll remind us that He loves us. And He might even bring somebody to mind that needs a special prayer. Like somebody is sick. Does anybody have a special prayer concern that you want us to pray for this morning? Lord, we want to hear your reassurance. 
And I tell you what, kids, Marley's going to read our last scripture lesson. And uh, Dana, I thought it would be good just to have him stay here while you go ahead and do your thing, Marley. And then we can all go to junior church with the family together. Go ahead and have a seat here. She's going to be reading, by the way, Luke 24, and beginning in verse 36, the second part of it, through verse 48, which is the story that continues the uh, resurrection appearances of Jesus. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that, that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do you doubt arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were they were disbelieving and still wondering. He said to them, Have you have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you all. I